Hello and greetings from Austria. My name is Robert Höck. Normally I'm making videos about cattle breeds in German language, but so many people have asked me if I could make an English version, so now here it is. My English is really not the best, but I hope you can enjoy this video anyway. In the last three years I've traveled to many European countries and I've found over 30 different cattle breeds for filming and these are my personal favorites, my top 10. Please feel free to leave your comments. To put the Belgian Blue in this ranking is maybe an unusual choice because of the fact that this breed is known for its double muscling. In our days, the Belgian Blue represents one of the most extreme beef strains found in livestock animals. But back in the days, it was also used as a dairy bread. These old dual purpose strains are still existing in their home country. If you just watch at the face of a typical Belgian Blue cow, you have to admit that they are still beautiful animals with an unusual coloration. I have chosen them to be in the ranking because they are a good example for exaggerated breeding and they also can show us what cattle breeding means today and probably in our future. I'm not happy about that. The Tyrolean grey cattle, also known as Graufi, is one of the oldest European cattle breeds you can find. It is a traditionally dual purpose cattle in Austria, Switzerland and northern Italy. Tyrolean greys are perfect for grazing at higher elevations in the mountains. They are small, healthy and sure-footed and known for their good milk quality. I think these cattle are beautiful because they are so natural looking. The Rolian greys look like the rocks and stones in their natural habitat. The calves are born nearly white and will get darker in the first three months of their life. A variety of the Tyrolean grey cattle is the white whipdar cattle. The white whipdars are staying white their whole lifetime. They are close to extinction now. There are also a few Tyrolean greys existing which are nearly black. These dark ones are also very beautiful. For sure, the hack cattle is not really a perfect example for a successful restoration of the aurochs, but nevertheless, I think it's a beautiful breed which gives us a good impression about what wild cattle species could have looked like. The hack cattle is the result of an attempt to breed back the extinct aurochs. It's named after the German hack brothers, which used many different cattle breeds in the 1920s and 1930s to create the hack cattle. The most important breeds which were used by them are Hungarian Greys, Highland Cattle, Corsican Cattle, Black Bite Lowland Cattle, White Buck Cattle, Brown Swiss and also the Murnau Verdenfurs. I have reached number 7 now and there I want to show you a very endangered Austrian breed, the Duxtilladar cattle. Duxtilladar cattle, also called Duxa, were traditionally used for cow fighting contests. In our days, these contests are not allowed anymore and because of that fact, many breeders lost their interest. Duxtilladala are known in two different color varieties, which are sometimes treated like two different breeds because they did occur in different regions. The red ones are called Tilladala, the black ones Duxa. Putting them together as a single breed prevents problems with interbreeding. While growing up, the calves of Dux Tilladar cattle can change their coloration. There is no doubt, Highland cattle are impressive animals. 
This old Scottish cattle breed has many fans because of the prehistoric look. Long horns and a long hair coat are the main characteristics of these cattle which are bred in many countries of the world now. I have filmed this flock in the Tyrolean mountains in Austria where they are perfect for grazing on the highest mountain meadows. As you can see, Highland cattle are very sure footed. It's always funny to look at them. There are a few different color varieties of the Highland cattle existing. Black, white and red are maybe the most popular, but you can also find brindle, dun and grey ones. We have reached the top 5 now and at number 5 I have placed the amazing Hungarian Grey cattle. Hungarian Greys are a very old breed which is known in the Hungarian lowlands for more than 1000 years. What makes them beautiful is the unusual carving of their very long horns. Hungarian Greys are born wheat colored and become grey in the first 3 months of their life. The breed is known for being very robust, strong and long living. Hungarian greys are also one of the ancestors of the hack cattle, which I did show you at place 8 of my ranking. My number 4 is not only one of the most popular dairy breeds worldwide, it is also known for being absolutely beautiful. The Jersey cattle looks a bit like a deer or a gazelle. It's very small with low body weight and the head is shaped like the head of an Arabian horse. Traditionally, Jerseys were bred in the Channel Island of Jersey. Now you can find huge numbers of Jerseys in the USA, in Canada and also Australia. That's because of the high butterfat content of their milk. Another thing which looks very beautiful at jerseys is that some animals have a darker face mask. Jerseys are also often used for crossbreeding with other dairy breads, as you can see here with the Holstein Friesian cattle. For the third place of my ranking, I have decided to put all the European belted cattle breeds together. Belted cows are always an eye catcher and so I cannot tell you which one of them is the most beautiful. What you can see now is the belted Galloway. The calves look like little bundle bears. Belted Galloways are naturally bald, which means that they cannot be seen with horns. If you see a belted cow with horns, it will most likely be a Dutch belted cattle, also called Lakenfelder. Dutch belted cattle are said to be the ancestors of the belted Galloways. They are existing in two different color varieties, there are black ones and red ones. The red ones are now absolutely rare and close to extinction. Dutch belted cattle are said to be descendants from cows which were brought from Switzerland and Austria to the Netherlands in the 18th century. The ancestors are still existing in Appenzell and in the Tyrolean mountains, where they are called Gurtenvie. The Gurtenvie is a variety of the brown Swiss cattle, which is called in the original type Original Braunvie. Back in the days the breeding association of the brown Swiss cattle did forbid the belted variety, so they get very close to extinction. Luckily some farmers kept them because of tradition. As the saying goes, Gutenvieh cows bring luck for the farm and they are also said to be very good leaders for the rest of the flock. Another very rare variety of the brown Swiss cattle is the Blüm, which you can see here together with the Gutenvieh.
At the second place of my ranking, I want to show you a breed from northern Italy and Austria, which is a real stunner. The Sprinzen cattle, also known as Bustadar Spotted cattle, has a very unusual coat coloration. And that's what makes them so beautiful for me. Every single cow has its unique markings and that from the first day on. So it's easy to distinguish them. The typical coloration of the Sprinzen cattle is known as finched or lineback. And there are a few other cattle breeds existing which are showing it. For example Irish Mild, Vidrook, Randall, Pinskauer, Richard Galloway and also the Swedish Mountain cattle. Most Sprinzen cattle are black, but there is also a small red population existing. The red ones are absolutely rare and I hope that they will have a better future, because they are really beautiful. And here it is, the one and only, my first place of the ranking. My personal favorite of all cattle breeds, not only the European ones, is the white bark cattle from England. White barks are absolutely fantastic, I think they are matchless. The typical white color, which gave them the name, is combined with a black nose and black markings at the ears around the eyes and also at the legs. It looks wonderful and the long horns give them a prehistoric impression. This old white bark cow looks like a aurox which has used too much eyeliner. If I could turn back time, I would like to see the white barks grazing wild in the English forests and woodlands. Today they are all kept in fences because there is not enough space left for them, but in the past centuries they have been treated like wild animals. Nobody knows exactly how long the white bark cattle exists on the British Isles, but it's possible that they are there for more than thousand years. So now I have a winner and I want to thank you for watching this and you know there are so many other beautiful cattle breeds and because of that at the last minute I want to show you some other breeds which are not in the ranking but would be also very beautiful. Thank you, goodbye.